Welcome to the UMBC Coaches Corner. I'm your host, Steve Levy. We're so happy to be back this spring. We're recording these programs right here on campus from the TV studio with the cooperation of the wonderful students we have surrounding us from the MCS 395 class under the direction of Bill Shoebridge. And uh, we're going to bring in our guest today, head coach Don Zimmerman of UMBC Lacrosse. And coach, this kind of, we're kind of in a full circle now. 20 years ago, we were in this very studio uh, doing a cable access TV show. Now, 20 years later, we're back again. But uh, this really shows the evolution of UMBC. Now we have 15 or so students majoring in MCS that really um, are looking at this as, as possible careers. So it really speaks highly to the evolution of UMBC. It sure does. And it's great to be back. And it's great to uh, have students here running the show. It's, um, we've come a long way. Speaking of coming a long way, um, the sport of men's lacrosse, really, in the 20 years, in 20 plus years that you've been here, we, we've seen such a, a dramatic development in the sport of lacrosse. The other sports, baseball, basketball, kind of the same, but lacrosse has, has really um, developed so rapidly from the grassroots level uh, to you know, college teams playing. You know, to what do you attribute the, the growth in, in the last couple of decades? Well, first and foremost, it's a great game, and I think, um, you know, when when the word got out, when the game got out, the um, kids uh, gravitated to it. They picked up the stick and, and just, you know, like like I did when I was a kid. All of a sudden, you know, you, you have the stick in your hand and and you want to learn how to master it. And it's fun, uh, it's challenging, and and uh, uh, U.S. Lacrosse, who's the governing body of uh, the sport in the United States, has done a tremendous job in promoting the game uh, over the past couple of decades and, and like you say it's grown it is the fastest growing sport in the country at the grassroots level and you equate that to how that affects us here at UMBC well we have many many more qualified candidates uh, to go out and, and, and recruit to uh, bring in to be a part of our program. Coach the, the big buzzword you hear today is, is branding and UMBC lacrosse as a brand, and it's not only for UMBC, although it's important to compete and win championships, UMBC lacrosse means a lot more th than just that. And when I go on the road with a team, you know, it's such a proud moment for me as an alum to be associated with UMBC lacrosse. When you go into a home of, of a prospective student athlete or talk to an alum or talk to people in the community, what do you want UMBC lacrosse to mean to them? Well, I, I want uh, our program to um, represent our university uh, our university has come such a long way uh, in, in uh, you know, less than 50 years, and lacrosse is, is, is right there as far as how long we've been in existence. So I, I want our, uh, our players to represent the university in a, in a high fashion. Uh, you know, when we do travel together, um, it's great to hear uh, people come up to us at an airport or at a restaurant and just ask who we are and, boy, your, your guys look great, and, you know, we travel in coat and tie. So, you know, we represent our university, we represent um, our program, and, and I also feel it's important that we understand uh, that we represent the game of lacrosse. I think that's uh, something that, uh, as a participant, whether it be a coach or a player, we understand the importance uh, of, of representing our sport in, in the right way. Coach, uh, as people are seeing this show, it's probably the second half of the season as the weather is warming up, but uh, as fans do come out to UMBC Stadium and see the team play, what can, what can they expect to see from, from the 2015 UMBC lacrosse team? Well, I, I think they're going to see a team that plays with energy, uh, passion. Uh, we've always stressed the fundamentals, and, and we want to be fundamentally sound, disciplined. You know, all the things that I think a coach in, in any sport, whether it be lacrosse or whatever sport uh, it may be, um, this is what you look for in your teams. And, and good, solid kids, good, solid citizens, play hard, play fair. And, um, and, and, you know, I guess the word is, is just hustle. Right. Uh, just hustle, be scrappy, and, and, um, and play the game the way it should be played. Coach, again, you know, the second half of the season basically comes down to conference play. Uh, we'll have Vermont and UMass Lowell coming into UMBC Stadium in the second half of the season. But talk about America East lacrosse. Uh, how it's developed over the years, and again, what fans can expect to see from some of the opponents that you'll be facing in conference play. Well, I think our conference has gotten better and better throughout the years, and uh, very competitive, uh, well-coached teams. Uh, the schools uh, give their uh, programs a lot of support, 
And, and like I said, getting back to the recruiting, there's so many good players out there that these coaches are going out and, and bringing on board. So it, it, it's a good competitive conference. Uh, I know when we have our coaches meetings, our coaches um, get along well. We, we all have the same goal, and that is to make our individual programs the best they can be while at the same time representing our universities and our conference uh, in, in a way that people would uh, uh, look up to. Coach, I know obviously there are a lot of young kids that come out to games, and hopefully a lot of young kids actually watching, uh, watching this program right now. But I, And I know you hate to single out particular players, but if there's one or two guys on your team that you would tell an aspiring lacrosse player Look how this young man plays the game, you know, technically, fundamentally. You know, who might they be, and, and why would, would you point, uh, point those particular players out? Well, you know, that's a tough question, and you're right. I don't like to single out individuals. Um, you know, I, I think about one of our seniors, Seth Mackin. Um, Seth is a long stick midfielder, probably one of the most physically demanding positions on the field. Mm -hmm. um, and Seth is a guy who comes out every day and goes hard in practice. Uh, he, he, he comes to work, uh, but at the same time is out there enjoying himself. And, and that enthusiasm is really contagious. And, and Seth is a popular member of our team because of, of, of that quality. You know, we also look for players who, who are tough. And I would say one of our, one of our tougher players is Nate Lunas. Mm -hmm. um, not flashy. Uh, comes to work every day and, and, and does his job, plays hard, uh, plays, plays hurt. Mm. Um, there's a difference between being hurt and being injured. And, 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 you know, he's got some issues that he has to deal with on a daily basis, but he comes out and you would never know. Um, and then as, as far as just, um, you know, someone who has um, athleticism and, and talent, I think Pat Young is a, is a good example. Pat is a midfielder for us and, and one of our top athletes and, um, you know, runs up and down the field well. Uh, and so, you know, what I remember as a kid playing lacrosse is I would go to watch games and I would pick out a player who I felt, well, you know, I, I kind of, he plays the way I would like to play. Right. And then on the way home, find a goal somewhere and, and, um, and, and emulate him. Right. Um, and, and so I think kids nowadays still do that, and I think it's one of the beauties of, of, of lacrosse in the Baltimore area. You have the, the, the youth leagues, you have the club teams, you have the high school, you have the college, you have the club. Um, there's a lot out there for people to go and watch and enjoy. Right. And I know we talked about individuals, but lacrosse, truly a team game. If you don't have you know, uh, depth in, in all positions, and really the team working together, it, it, it's not gonna happen for you guys on the field. Right, it, it, it's all about a team, and, um, and, and playing together, uh, I've always believed that the really true team players, um, th that they play for their teammates first. Right. Uh, when you go into a locker room after a, a big win, they're as happy for their teammates, if not more so, than for themselves. And on the other hand, if you go in after a tough loss, you know, you feel bad for your teammates because you know that just like you, uh, they're invested, they, they care an awful lot, and, um, and boy, uh, that, that's a strong emotion uh, and a powerful emotion uh, inside that locker room. Well, Coach, we really appreciate the visit. Uh, best of luck on your 2015 season. We really appreciate all you've done for UMBC and for the game of lacrosse. Thanks, Steve. UMBC lacrosse, again, a couple of April home games we want to make sure uh, fans are aware of on the 11th against Vermont and the 18th against UMass Law, both Saturday games. You can catch all the schedule on UMBC's website, www.umbcretrievers.com. For the UMBC Coaches Corner, I'm Steve Levy.